Hi everyone, my name is Michelle. Nice to meet you again. So after I uploaded the first video several weeks ago, I think I haven't uploaded very often recently because I currently make a very big decision on my career and my life. So I have need some like personal um issues need to be deal with. So I didn't upload too many things recently. But starting from this point. So from today, I'm going to upload the videos day by day and at least one video per day. So uh, there are only like around 42 questions in total for the database category. So we could finish all the database questions before the end of 2018. And welcome to join me and finish all the questions in this category. So for today, we're going to deal with the problem of the questions with the number once 176 the name is second highest salary so um let's see the these questions first so it asked me to write a sql query to get the second highest salary from the employee table so for this employee table we have two columns one is the id columns and the other is salary columns so for each id we have a particular salary so from here we didn't see any duplicates which means the salary and the id itself is independent with each other there is no duplicate salaries or duplicate ids and the next one is, for example, given the above employee table, the query should return to 100 as the second highest salary. If there is no second highest salary, then the query should return now. So for here, it means the output should be one column and the column name is second highest salary, and the output value is only contains one row, which is 200. So when we're solving this kind of problems, the first thing we need to think in is how do we find the second highest salary, right? So how do we find it? First, we may think in to find the highest salary instead of the second highest salary. So how do we find the highest salary from this example? We have two actually uh, two methods to find. The first one is to um, using the aggregation function, which is a max. So we could say we found the max of the salary from this table. And the second one is what? Is we could use the all by, the all by syntax, right? All by with the descending and then find the limited one, which means we get the highest of the order, order list. So for this one, we're actually doing the first the um the first part which is we find the highest uh, salary so for the second part what we are going to do actually what we are going to do is to find the list which are which the salary is below the highest salary right because we want to find the second highest salary which means it definitely will be below the highest salary so it should be um i mean have a smaller amount than the highest salary so we should find the least which is the higher the salary is below the highest salary and for the final part what we are going to do is we order the rest of the table and find the highest salary within the rest of the table right so these are three different parts we're going to do when we're solving this kind of problems so we first do is we do the part a which means we're going to find the highest salary in this table so what we we'll do is from the employee table and select it as what as a maximum of the salary right so for this part where we are going to find the highest salary within this table and we could run this code to see the um, intermediate output so we see the value is 300 which means we find the highest salary right so for the second part is we are going to find the rest list of this um, 
I mean this table. So which means we are going to um, find the table without the highest salary. So for here, we still write the select first, and then do the from. And from what? From still from the uh, same table, which is called the employee. But for here, we need to have one condition, which is where the salary should be less than the highest salary we already found. So we're going to write things in this way. After this, so we already have a table which is now contains the highest salary from the original table. So for here, we will reduce uh, aggregation function with the max, which we are going to use is the max of the salary, max of the salary of the rest of part of the table. So we are going to find the second highest salary. But for here, we should be noticed that for this output column, it you should be able to, I mean, uh, have a column name as the second highest salary. So we rename it as a um, second highest salary. So, so far we already did all the coding part of these questions, let's submit the codes. We could find our uh, submission already beats around like 73% 70, uh, of the overall submissions. And we could resubmit again. Sometimes it will be higher, but this time it will be lower, but we could try it again. It's a little bit higher, and again. Yeah, for this time it's the highest, which is uh, 121 milliseconds, which is faster than 90% of the submissions. So for this kind of um, simple questions, I think the main goal is now to find the uh, best optimized solution. The thing is to find the most clear, clean, and very, um, I mean, logically solutions. So for here, um, we already finished all the part of these questions, but we leave another question here. Do we have another way to solve this problem? Actually, we do. If you want to uh, thinking by yourself, you could stop this video and thinking about it. Otherwise, let's continue to redo this uh, solution. So for this part, actually, uh, we have two similar parts within this query. So we're, not, we're only gonna to change one of them as a max salary. So instead of using the max salary, we were, what we are going to use, we could use the syntax, which is called the order by, right? So we order by the salary, which means we do the order uh, within this column, based on this column, and the column is the salary, and the, the default value is uh, ascending, which means we will we'll order this salary from the lowest to the highest. But for this one, we want to find the highest salary, so we do the descending. And after that, because we only want to find the only one, which means the highest salary, so we limited the output as one. And for here, we just simply uh, select the salary, and all things will be fine. Let's resubmit this um, query again. So we said it has some improvement with 93% um, faster than the submissions of the 93%. So this, uh, I mean, this part is very good. And actually, we also could change this part. So which means we could also use the other by instead of using the max aggregation functions. But we are not going to do it here. If you have an interest, you could do it by yourself. If you cannot do it, you can just leave me some comments and I will help you around. Thank you so much. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel or just um, like my channel please uh, i mean like my videos please and also please help me to refer my videos and my channels to your friends all your support actually give me more activations and make me more active in this area and i could more productive and provide more um good videos thank you so much goodbye see you next time